Hey, hi everyone. Uh, this is Dilip, and in this video, I'm going to share my interview experience at Amazon, which I've given like few months back only. So it's a it's for SD two role, and uh, as I have like five years ex experience, so they I fall under SD two category there. So that's why I've given the, for the SD two role. So let's get started. So basically, the before proceeding my with my interview experience, I want to share like how I got that opportunity. So basically, uh, like uh, the opportunity, I didn't have to do anything. So I have previously given interview to Amazon. So maybe because of that, or uh, whatever the reason, so I got an uh, LinkedIn message from the recruiter regarding this SD two opportunity, and she has shared me some uh, like uh, Hacker Rank Earth link. So she just uh, first asked me like whether if I will be interested in this opportunity or not. So which I replied to yes, and later on she. Uh, sent an in, uh, invite for the online coding assessment test uh, which basically contained two questions and they were like the second part of that test which basically contained some uh, behavioral questions so basically the behavioral question was related to more of like uh, uh, let's suppose a certain scenario some work is given to me from my manager in those scenarios what decision i'm going to take so based on that i have to provide the answer to those so i would say there are like uh, amazon uh, like have an pages related to that interview so do go through those pages that will help you i'll also add those pages in the description for you to check that out and so once that round was over so i was given basically uh, like one coding round uh, one system design round was there uh, which is related to lld and one system design related to hld and then was, there was a one behavioral round which they call it as a bar raiser round so like in the online coding assessment round i was able to solve one question completely and one question with uh, partial test cases and for the behavioral round i was able to like uh, answer uh, the question to the best of my knowledge the decisions that i can take so uh, once i got the uh, information that uh, i'll be basically selected for the next further round so i started preparing more on lead code uh, for the coding problems uh, basically medium level lead code problems i also followed the sheet that are available uh, by different i mean youtubers so there are like uh, striver sheet uh, there are 450 dsa so those things i started follow for the topics the first coding round uh, was basically uh, about like two uh, dsa problem one was related to tree and the other was related to dynamic programming it was more of a medium level problem only so i would say like uh, you can prepare something like a top 50 interview question related to lead code so that is like a good enough list for you to cover those topics for uh, i mean within a few weeks so once that is shorted, I was uh, went to another round that was more of a LLD level round, but uh, the the different was uh, compared to other companies. It was not uh, uh, like uh, LLD related questions like you have to write all the classes and everything, and you have to run that code uh, in a like in a environment like an IDE or something. So it was more of a UML diagram that you need to build. So you have to like uh, design the classes and everything, which all methods that you're going to define, uh, what relations that those classes gonna contain. So you have to follow the model uh, view controller approach. So where you basically uh, first designing the, what are controller endpoints that you're gonna build, uh, what are the like basically the model classes that you're gonna define, what are the service services that you're gonna use what you're gonna write in your business logic so those things uh, need to be clear so if you are practicing like uh, lld's for interview so then this will be fairly easy for you but focus on the class diagram because there are special symbols uh, for designing like let's suppose a class uh, represents an aggregation relation with another class so there is a symbol related to that so make sure to like uh, be aware of those class diagram that's going to help you with this uh, interview round Apart from that, once this interview round was done, uh, I was uh, went to the next round that was more of an HLD round. So HLD round was uh, similar to what I have experienced with other companies as well. It was more of like uh, when open-ended problem was given and he has asked me uh, like to design the basically end-to-end -end that system. And uh, later on the question were more unrelated based on my design decision. So why I have preferred this? What are the pros and cons for this? Why I went for a Redis, not for a MIM cache? Questions related to that. And uh, there was initial part where he was asking me about my previous projects that I have done in my previous companies. 
and uh, there were questions related to that as well in terms of design decision so how you can uh, think of a better uh, any other approach uh, that came to your mind and why uh, you guys went with this approach so it was more of a uh, leadership as well some questions were related so related to pros and cons so related to how you're going to resolve the conflict and everything so those those were also there at the end of the interview so that was uh, about the hrd round and once that was done i was moved to the next round that was called bar raiser round so it was more of a with the manager only and he asked me about my previous uh, projects that i have done for the company and uh, it was like uh, based on uh, like facing different scenarios in the firm so let's suppose uh, you have a conflict with an employee or you you take uh, you mention some decision that others didn't agree with how did you handle that particular scenario so those questions are there so i'm going to put a resource uh, in the description that covers like a uh, different scenarios and how you can answer those types of questions in the descriptions that going to help you not only with the behavioral round here but uh, any companies if you are giving a behavioral round there are set of questions that are kind of structured in a certain framework so you have to give the answer in that particular framework the main purpose of uh, these rounds are to check uh, if you are compatible working with other employees or not so don't uh, just answer uh, like uh, those question from your gut it will lead to rejection so answer those questions properly and know like for what purpose these questions are kind of ask us so the always the good approach is like when you have got the question from the interviewer take a pause for a few minutes to understand it and then start answering it so in those few minutes you can think of like for what reason he has asked this question so this is going to help you to prepare for this round and in terms of preparation resources as i mentioned i followed like striver sheet and uh, like i also followed the uh, top 150 interview questions for uh, lld preparation i was following uh, i think shreyans uh, video playlist for lld and hld that is very helpful and good enough resources there and uh, there was like udit agarwal lld playlist that was uh, also i was following for some times so those resources helped me to prepare for not for this interview uh, ultimately for a software engineering roles to other companies and yeah that's all about this video thanks for watching it have a nice day bye